Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. I'm flying to Australia for finals week one. I've not got tickets as of yet, but hopefully I can. I've just seen the exact schedule's been announced as well, which is quite cool. Um, but I do this video every year. I thought I'd do it quickly. I thought I'd record a couple of videos before I left because I normally do like a lot of finals previews, but because I'm flying to Australia this week, I'm going to be exploring Northern Territory and Queensland before I travel over to Melbourne um, for the finals. So uh, if I can't get a ticket, I'll get find a pub or something but it's going to be fun it's witnessing the atmosphere experiencing that but yeah i'm going to fly out very soon <laughs> very very soon in fact so i'm going to be recording a couple of videos including this one who i want to win the premiership out of the eight i do this every year before i do it again in eighth place collingwood i don't like collingwood that has not changed so yeah although i predict them to finish first i i saw something in them last year and many people said people said to me like they had a lot of close games last year. Yes, they had a win streak, but they were all close. They were only just as good as their opponents. Just slightly better on the day. I get that. That logic makes sense. But I still saw something in them. For me, if it happens that often, it becomes less lucky. It becomes more about, you know, skill. So I kind of saw something there and I thought, you know what? They'll be stronger next year. They were a point away from a grand final as well last year. You've got to remember that. Right. They took Geelong all the way in week one as well last year. I thought, hey, they had a great win streak. They look strong in the finals. They'll be back next year. So I predicted they'll be a minor premiers. And I was right. So I also called Brisbane improving as well. I, I called that because they were starting down the ladder. They were finishing second, second. And it was like uh, elimination, fi no, yeah, elimination final. They were slipping downwards. And I thought... They're not going to slip down any further, they're going to go back up again, and they did, they finished second, so... I also predicted Brisbane to win the flag as well, so... We'll see if that comes true, but all I'm, all I'm going to say is... I called it, I called Collingwood first, I called Brisbane improving, being strong, and I also called Brisbane not making the eight. So that, that's, that's three things I got correct, okay? We can just ignore that I put the Giants in 18th. Let's move back to the video. Uh, Collingwood, yeah, the team at least wants to win the flag. Look, you've done your winning now. I got my prediction right. Please lose. <laughs> in seventh place is the Giants. I don't like the Giants, to be honest with you. Uh, they're one of my least favorite teams. Uh, at the bottom, you did, I'd probably put. I'd just put Hawthorne, by the way, for context. But um, Collingwood, Geelong, Essendon, North Melbourne, Gold Coast, and then just above that, the Giants. Those teams I just said, either I dislike a little bit or I dislike them a lot. And just above the Giants, I put Richmond as well, but like, yeah. People think uh, I hate Richmond the most, which makes no sense to me. Yes, I came to Australia last year, and I watched Richmond smash Hawthorne. Yes, that was very painful, but that does not make them my most hated team. Like, I don't get it. People said that I hate Richmond because I picked them to finish ninth. They finished 13th. I said they'd finish just outside the eight. They, they, they would just miss out on the eight, and Carlton would make it. I was right about both of those things, by the way. I had Carlton in the 8 too. That's, that's four things, okay? Only thing slightly wrong is I had Carlton just making it and Richmond just missing out, so that's a bit different. But the point is, Carlton have made it comfortably and Richmond were out like a few weeks ago. So I I'm just saying once again, apparently I hate Richmond for picking them ninth. They finished lower than ninth. I was nice to them. Anyway, we'll go back to the point of this video. Uh, yeah, Collingwood 8th, Giants 7th. The top six, I think there's some nice reasons for each of these teams. Um, so whoever I put sixth, just know I don't hate you. Just just so you know. Because whenever I say something about them, they always say I'm against them or something. Like in my school ladder predictor uh, half through the season. Poor Adelaide! Poor Adelaide, yes. In my ladder predictor, uh, I did halfway through the season. S someone was annoyed that I put them, put them losing too many games. But they actually lost more games than I predicted them to, so that's another that's another thing. <laughs> I feel like some set some some people are too easy to trigger. I'm not even trying to trigger them, and they get triggered. I remember last year at the start of the year, literally I said Richmond ninth, and like four Richmond fans commented like, "You're, you're an idiot!" Like, I, look, I was correct. That's all I'm saying. I also predicted Port back in the eight. That, that's that, that's five things. I, I am too good, my friends. I'm, I'm untouchable, okay? We can literally forget about the Giants last because that's the main thing I got wrong. I got a lot of things right. I'm just saying. And we can forget 3 or 3rd as well. That never happened, all right? You, and you, you, you never heard me say that. 
you're, you're, you're seeing things, you're hearing things. But yeah, put a little sixth just because, like, I support Hawthorne. My next favourite teams, I'd guess, Brisbane, Adelaide, Frio and um, Melbourne. So it's like, I'm not going to say Melbourne less than Port Adelaide or Brisbane less than Port Adelaide. And the other teams are kind of like a bit more than Port Adelaide. I don't even hate Port Adelaide, but I prefer Adelaide. So that's one thing there. But yeah, I don't hate Port Adelaide. I don't, I don't dislike them. It's just that the other five teams, I want to, I want to see them in the flag more than Port Adelaide do. But having said that, Port Adelaide have won a flag in 19 years now. I think them winning a flag would be pretty cool. And I think that'd be quite interesting to see a team from South Australia to actually win the flag because it's been a while. We had Port Adelaide 2004. Adelaide twice in the 90s. It's, it's, it's been quite long. So I think it would be good to see a flag go back to South Australia. I think that would be good. I think it'd be like a bit like West Coast a few years ago. I think that would be quite good to see. But still, I prefer the other five teams over them. In fifth place, Sydney Swans. Don't really hate them. Yes, Sydney and Hawthorne have a bit of rivalry, actually, recent rivalry. But I don't particularly hate the Sydney Swans. Um, there's no reason why they're this low apart from the fact that I like the other teams more. Plus like Sydney and Port Adelaide for me are like pretty level, I guess. Slightly it's a slight edge in terms of like who I like more. So similar reason to Port Adelaide really, it's just the the teams above them that I put I like more, essentially. In fourth place is this is gonna surprise some people. Or oh, not actually. It is Melbourne. I know people are going, to go, are going to go mad at this because for some reason, even though people think certain things, people assume things, people also assume that I'm a Carlton fan. And I am not a Carlton fan. I have never been a Carlton fan, but people think I'm a Carlton fan. And one of the reasons, again, was I put them in the eight. They're fifth. So, again, I've just been proven correct. Like, people, people think that, okay, he hates Collingwood. He doesn't, he, he doesn't uh, say nice things about Richmond. Death Boy must hate Richmond the most. He's he's a Carlton fan, yeah. De he's definitely a Carlton fan. I'm just like, I had Carlton above Richmond with ladder predictions, and it was correct. The fact that it was correct negates any points you have about this. I'm not a Carlton fan, or also like I'm not. I, I like him, but I'm not a Carlton fan. But I also like Melbourne more. So why why have I put Melbourne below Carlton? Well, Melbourne have won a flag recently, and they're very good. So let Carlton have their turn. Carlton are third on my list, by the way. So Melbourne fourth, Carlton third. I like Melbourne more. I like Melbourne more, but it's been longer since Carlton won the flag, much longer. So uh, I think it would be interesting to see if they won the flag. And uh, with the form they're on, apart from the last game against the Giants, with the form they're on, they could well be a big threat. Even the Giants as well could be a big threat too. Uh, I'll admit that, um, even though I don't want them to do it. I think the Giants, they could brush aside St. Kilda. Um, but we shall see. They didn't get a home final though. So I think um, in Melbourne it will be easier for the Saints than it would be away. But it's still a tough game. So we'll see about that. But yeah. So Melbourne fourth, Carlton third. Second, St. Kilda. They're on a drought. It's the era of ending droughts. Tigers ended it. Bulldogs ended it. That's not in order. Should have been in order. And Melbourne ended it. Who's next? St. Kilda. St. Kilda. Long drought, very long drought. Just the one flag ever. Nothing since. Nothing before. That's 1966, right? The same year in another sport where England won the early World Cup ever <laughs> in a different sport also called football uh, that we love in England. Um, so yeah, St. Kilda, I guess they're like the England of, uh, of the AFL and they have a cross as well, like England just the opposite inverted colors uh actually no that doesn't make any sense because then it would be a red with a white you know what never mind forget but it, it's got a cross that's the point and, and they're called the saints <laughs> <That's> <laughs> anyway yeah we'll, we'll move on from that but yeah i like the saints quite a bit and because they've because it's been so long since they actually won a premiership i'd love to see them do it but i can't see it unfortunately they're probably the weakest team in the eight is that controversial? Now look, look at the comments now. They're going to say, oh, he, he hates St. Kilda. I don't hate St. Kilda. Why would they be mis the second most team want to win the flag if, if I hated them? But people are going to say it because people always assume everything based off everything I say. And in first place is the Brisbane Lions. I'm a big fan 
of the Brisbane Lions. They're a, they're, they're a great outfit, uh, they're a great club. Um, I support Hawthorne, of course, one of my favourite clubs after Hawthorne is the Brisbane Lions. They are, are the Brisbane Lions, I should say, better English. They are a club that I really like and uh, recently, you know, they've done really well. Um, in the regular season, mainly. In the finals, they weren't doing too great until last year. Last year, I think they had a good final series. They beat Richmond and Melbourne back to back. They lost, they lost to Geelong by a big margin, but Geelong were on a rampage that time. They were just on fire, unstoppable. So I don't think that's as bad a loss as people think it is. Plus, Sydney made Sydney made them look better as well because Sydney lost by even more in the grand final. But I think last year they were good. They, they were impressive in the finals, I think. They won games that they would not have won the year before. So that was impressive in itself. But before that, you know, out on straight sets, then making a prelim just to get smashed in the prelim. In, at home at the, at the Gabba, it was very rocky for them. Uh, very, very rocky. Uh, but last year, it improved quite a bit. And this year, look, they're back in second place. They have not lost a single game at the Gabba. Port Adelaide have not gone there yet. And they are going there now. So that's going to be interesting. Port also beat Brisbane at, at it over, of course. Um, but, you know, if, if they don't do it, then it's, it might be their own fault because... No one has been able to beat them there. No one. <laughs> no one's been able to beat Brisbane at the Gabba. So, realistically, based off regular season form, they should make the grand final. Should. <laughs> I want them to do it. I predict them to do it. I like them a lot. I want to see it happen. But they got to make it happen. The finals is a different animal. There's different pressure in the finals. Geelong, ask Geelong, literally ask Geelong. Apart from last year, how many times have Geelong dominated a season and not win the flag? It's happened multiple times in the past. It's happened twice the last five years, I'm pretty sure. Geelong finishing first and just going out within like week two or week three. It happens. The finals is a different thing. The Bulldogs won the flag from seventh. I don't think anyone saw that one coming that year. So like regular season form is not always the parameter, you know. Brisbane have been great, haven't lost to the Gabba. They gotta make it count in the finals. And I wanted to see him do it. So uh, yeah, um, I didn't write this down, but who I want to win the flag the most? Brisbane, and then St Kilda, but that won't happen. Brisbane is a bit more realistic, but MCG, you never know. <laughs> you never know at the MCG, but they can get to the grand final, I feel. Um, and they gotta do it, otherwise, you know, there's no excuse, really. Uh, then St. Kilda, which won't happen, unfortunately. Uh, who did I put in third? Who did I put in? Mel no, I put Carlson third. I put Carlson third. Again, does not make me a Carlson fan. Uh, Melbourne in fourth. Uh, Sydney fifth and, and Port Adelaide sixth. Similar reasoning for Sydney and Port Adelaide. Now thinking about it. So either could have been, you could you could switch either around on constant basis. And the two teams I dislike, the Giants in 7th and Collingwood in 8th. Let me know down below who you want to win the flag. This video is longer than it should have been, to be honest. But, you know, uh, I, I spent half of it ranting about these accusations. They're ridiculous. You make the list, be careful. Where is the list? I bring it to Australia, just in case. I brought it last year, I didn't use it. So maybe I shouldn't bring it. Or maybe I should. Goodbye. Let's take it slow. Where you go, I go too. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow. Who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever.